Okay, let's talk about permalinks in the new EBSCO Discovery Service. So in, in old, or what they call classic EBSCO Discovery Service, there was this thing right here, which is a permalink, because these links didn't work for very long. They would work for a few minutes or a few hours, but you may have learned the hard way if you copied and pasted a link somewhere for this, like in a course, uh, within a day or so, that link would stop working. So the solution to that was this thing called a permalink, right down there, and that would create a permanent link. The new EBSCO Discovery Service, it looks kind of different. So I've run a search here and I'm looking at some articles. If I go into this article here, there's a couple things. This link up here, up here will work for this and it won't expire. The one catch is if you put this link in, it's going to show this search up here that you ran that found this article. So that's a little strange. So <clears throat> if I copy and pasted that link, it, it does bring up the article, but it also has this search up here, which might be confusing to people. So probably, um, probably the best idea would be to create a permalink for it. So the permalink would be right here. You would click share create link, copy this to a clipboard. And when we paste this in, it takes you directly to the article. So <clears throat> even though EBSCO says with their new interface, you don't have to use permalinks, I still think it's better to use a permalink because if you don't, it's going to copy in the article, which is fine, but you're going to get this as well here, this search, which is really not necessary. So if you just want to link directly to the article, probably using, they don't call it a permalink anymore, but it really is the same thing. You would click, once you get into an article, you would click share and click create link right there and then copy to clipboard. So that's how you do it. You don't have to do it. I probably will continue using these permalinks just because it's, it's a more direct link and it probably would be less confusing to someone because they don't need to see the search that you did. And if you had a really complicated search, there would be a really complicated search string up here. So that's the deal with permalinks now. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have questions.